this, I would begin by saying that there is a lot of uncertainty about this. So the range of forecasts about how AI will impact the economy, but also impact the military, impact global politics, really spans a kind of huge spectrum. You know, at one end of the spectrum, there are people who think that this is going to transform everything on a very rapid time frame. This is going to just turbocharge state power. It's going to be, you know, more significant than the invention of the, the nuclear bomb, um, that this could give states um, decisive strategic advantages that allow them to just impose their will on other states. Um, that's one end of the spectrum. At the other end of the spectrum, there are people who think this technology will absolutely be important, but it's going to diffuse much more gradually. It's going to play out much more slowly. It's it's going to be very hard for any one state to kind of monopolize control over it. This is sort of more like a, it's not really like a the invention of the nuclear bomb. It's more like a kind of general purpose technology like electricity that is much harder to sort of consolidate within any kind of one state. And depending on which one of these views you have, that could kind of leads to pretty different uh, implications for how you assess AI's impact on the global order. Um, that said, I think everyone does agree across this spectrum that AI is going to be this very important technology and that it really will influence economic power, military power, political power in general. And I think in terms of how that affects kind of global order, I think you could think about this from two perspectives. The first is for kind of great power competition at the kind of frontier between, say, the United States, China, um, you know, the states that are really kind of, uh, that really have pretensions to be the kind of dominant states. And then the second perspective is how this affects everyone else, how this affects every other country. Um, so just taking those in turn, I think on the first, on the kind of US-China competition, um, I think there really is this sense that, you know, AI is going to be a kind of cru crucial um, contributor or determinant of national power that may shape which one of these states kind of plays the preeminent, the, the preeminent role in the coming years, whether that's in terms of how these states integrate the technology into their militaries, which will shape their military power, but also how it impacts their economic growth, their productivity, and then this kind of broader diplomatic angle that, that a lot of our panelists have been talking about, about how these states promote these technologies, which embody, you know, um, these, are, these, are, these are communication technologies that embody kind of political values. And so if US technology or Chinese technology kind of underpins these systems as they're spread worldwide, that will kind of shape um, international views, international attitudes, and so forth. 